YouTube, this is KMCCMK9 Master Tech, and today it's just going to be a really quick follow-up tutorial video here on my last video about Blender. I got many questions about what if you do not have a full-size keyboard with a number pad, or what if you do not have a mouse with a scroll wheel. So I'm going to show you some basic things uh, that you can change in your settings for that'll help you. Now, I still recommend a full keyboard and a real mouse because this just removes other functionality and it makes things more difficult and time consuming. So when you start Blender, you want to grab your lower bar down here and just drag it down so that you can see everything in this window here. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is th it should look like this. And over here, if you're on view and controls, and you come over to cursor with left mouse, emulate three button mouse. Make sure that it's clicked. And basically, I'll just drag this up for a second. Now what that does is if I'm if I'm like uh I'm here and I'm on rotate, all I have to do is press Alt or Option if you're on Mac and just click and drag with my mouse and now I can move in 3D view just like if I had a yeah, mouse scroll um, and now for the number pad you drop down, this down again come in down to the bottom bar click system and open GL then under keyboard you're gonna have emulate number pad so if you do that you drag your bar up okay boom I hit one two three four zero so it kind of removes any functionality you had with these upper row of numbers, but it gives you the functionality of your number pad. So that's it for this really quick tutorial update question answer. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please let me know. Send me a message. Post a comment. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.